Victory mounts the corner for a cheer, no doubt. But her opponent, Major Tanya, doesn't seem to be in good cheer at all. The Soviet has no patience for this display. Oh, and the cheerleader almost makes a patient out of her with that flying body press. High glow fans, bottom mouth Mike Morgan, the moves and maneuvers manual, calling this very first run for the Rubies match. The entire wrestling world is buzzing about the tournament, but right now, Vicky feels the sting of the match. Major Tanya is a determined grappler. He wants to go all the way in this tournament to avenge the shame put on the crown by the traitorous Ninochka. I still can't believe it. Ninochka sold out, spat in the face of all those who helped and supported her and disgraced the crown. She probably thinks that's chic behavior. The cheerleader must take to the air to be effective. She flies more than a veteran pilot. She leaps at her opponent, and it's Rucka by Baby with a cradle takedown. And a flying drop kick hangs the Russian in the ropes. Soviet fights her way off, but Vicky is ready to take again to the friendly skies, popping a midsection with that sledgehammer blow. Now collapsing her with a split. And Vicky Victory tries to ride her like a big red pony. She thinks she's got Tanya at her Steinbeck and call. Whoa! The Russian shows her she's a horse of a different color entirely. Remember, fans, while a win allows a grappler to advance to the next level in the tournament, a loss doesn't eliminate a wrestler entirely. They still have a shot at the wild card finalist berth, which will be decided by a battle royal among those eliminated in early rounds. Right now, Tanya's throwing a few rounds at Vicky's gut. But the high flyer gets a leg up on a foe with that head scissors, trying to cut her down like an annoying shrub. But the Russian doesn't hedge her bets and pulls free. Now she goes for Vicky's legs. The Soviet is powerful. Whoa, and she hurls her the length of the ring. Vicky's used to flying, but by her own doing. And Tanya's attack may be her undoing. Vicky victory is good job, but she not laugh and cheer with broken bones I give her. Tanya thinks Vicky victory is a joke. I didn't think the Russian had a sense of humor, but she must. She did let Aunt Kitty manage her. She flings the cheerleader backward by her hair. The high flyer temporarily grounded, and her back must feel like ground round. No wonder she has a beef with the Soviet. Tanya has been methodical in her attack. She's been moving like a well-oiled machine. And if she had the personality of a machine, it would be a big improvement. Now she sends it to the ropes, but Vicky reverses and bowls over the Bolshevik. She bridges over her legs for the pin, but Tanya able to kick out, and the winded cheerleader falls out of the ring. She has taken a lot of punishment, and the Russian decides, in this case, it's better to give than to receive. Tanya's being too charitable for Vicky's own good. I understand the Soviet once shipped a Slavic person through the post office just so she could say the check was in the mail. Tanya vowing to break her opponent, and rams her into the ring post. The Russian going for a second chorus. Whoa, but Vicky shows her the flip side. Well, when she kicks her down and gives her a fit with that cheerleader split, these grapplers had better take it back to the ring or they may be counted out. And the Soviet wants to put a foe out for good, ramming her into that ring post. It's solid steel under that tape. The Russian wants to score an impressive win here and will pull out all the stops to ensure it. She sends Vicky back to the ring and follows after her. The cheerleader sets for a high kick, 
but Tanya catches a leg. Oh, she hurls her to the mat, beast beast. The Russian has been able to overpower her foe with a lot of help from that steel ring post. Maybe that should be a steady tag team partner. After all, they do think alike. Oh, I take that back, fans. The ring post is much smarter than Tanya. You know, the Kremlin is watching this match very carefully. They want a victory here, and not one named Vicky. She forces her to the ropes and goes for a choke, viciously massaging the flyer's neck. She must think she's going after Nanachka. I understand the KGB was going to assign a man to watch the traders every move, but she's put on so much weight recently, they needed two men to cover the job. Tanya wants to take the crown now, but there are 19 other grapplers in this tournament who will have something to say about that. Just because the rubies are red doesn't mean Tanya's got the inside track. Vicky trying to make it to her feet, and the Bolshevik moves in. She hauls her up, and body slams her to the mat. By now, Vicky Victory's back must have more cracks in it than Aunt Kitty's mirror. The Soviet presses her advantage. She pulls her up, and into an airplane spin. She's taking the cheerleader for an unscheduled flight. There's a lot of turbulence on this ride, and a crash landing to boot. Vicky, dazed, disoriented, it's a wonder she can make it to her feet. And Tanya helps her up with a handful of air. Now she spews her Soviet propaganda. If that airplane spin didn't get Vicky nauseous, this will. Put a sock in it, Rusky, and get back to wrestling. She sends it to the ropes. Oh, and a big backbreaker. The Russian is determined to turn the cheerleader's spine into a slinky. She rolls her up for the pin, putting more pressure on the high flyer's back. And the Russian advances to the next round. And Vicky has a date with a chiropractor. The winner of the match, Major Tanya! Help me! Just! Just the right place! This little cheerleader has a pulverized every opponent! Tanya should advance and win the Glow Crown. She will be the second consecutive Glow Girl from the USSR to hold the Glow Crown. We're coming back with more of the gorgeous ladies of wrestling. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.